Hey guys, uh, we're just going to set up the images for f the facial modeling. Um, I mean, I'm going to re reuse these because the quality of the image is really, really good. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I just done some lines here, uh, some reference uh, lines. I'll go back here. Okay, and just going to selection mask and edit, copy, file new. Okay, and edit and paste. And then I'm going to go into the top and I'm going to grab the selection mask here and around about there. So I'm going to edit, uh, copy. File new, edit, paste. There you go. As you can see, um, the human face, um, as nature intended, does not line up. It's not symmetric symmetrical. There's no symmetry in nature, apart from uh, plants, trees. Anything organic, uh, it does have its, you know, angles and uh, proportions. But we will be just worrying about this side of the face. There is a technique, uh, but it will look weird. Um, we can just line up for the middle. And what we can do is selection mask cross we can go to uh, copy and paste and we can flip horizontal as you can see your face looks really really weird uh, too thin um, we won't be doing that there's, it's just a technique of uh, what you can, as you can see, um, the face is and the neck comes out here. And like I said, the human face is not asymmetrical at all. So I won't be doing that. What we'll be doing, we'll just be modelling across the line here. And then when we come to actually uh, do the muscle definition, I can actually show you in ZBrush, uh, you know, moving points around on just one side of the face. But as it stands, uh, this is perfect. Same as uh, this one. This looks bigger because it's at uh, 133. If I bring it back out to 100, um, it's the same size. So go ahead and save this as uh, front side, uh, sorry, face side, face front, and um, haven't decided whether to model the body first or the face. Um, we'll try the body first and then we'll model the face. We will be doing these separately um, purely because it's a traditional workflow uh, in a studio. You do have your body model modelers and your face modelers and uh, we'll go through the process of that. So I'm going to save these images to my source folder 
and see you guys in the next lesson.